Yo, so this is a video on uh, the myths of sugar. Um, yeah, there's so many out there. It's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I, I consume ridiculous amounts of sugar every day because I know about all these myths. So um, we'll, we'll get started. Number one, um, sugar causes uh, oxidation in your body, uh, which it does. But the thing is, if you're eating any fruit, any vegetables, you consume uh, antioxidants, which basically, if you understand uh, what, what them, antioxidization is what antioxidant means. And it basically uh, prevents oxidization from sugar, oxygen. Um, like good example, oxygen is uh, extremely oxidization, like oxidata, oxid <laughs> oxidating. But um, you wouldn't stop breathing, would you, you know? And um, yeah, so some people can't wrap their head around that. That, yeah, if you are to only consume sugar water and no other foods whatsoever, <laughs> then uh, you might have a problem with oxidization. But... Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's not that bad. So uh, number two, we got uh, uh, sugar fucks up your blood sugars. So that starts from insulin resistance, which mu it, pretty much every single um, study ever done on sugar is done on uh, like without a control group on their dietary fat. Because uh, if you actually look up dietary fat causes insulin resistance you'll understand that it's essentially when you mix sugar and oil or fat together in the diet the fat stops the sugar from getting absorbed out of the bloodstream efficiently and into the muscle cells your brain your immune system everywhere where the sugar the glycogen glucose is needed for optimal function and you have problems with it being elevated in your, your blood. And uh, leads me to the third one. So, uh, you know, it spikes, it spikes your insulin and blood sugar. Now, um, yeah, it's true, it, you, you know, you, it spikes your blood sugar and it spikes it in a natural way, which is meant to, meant to happen. So when you spike your insulin, basically the insulin helps uh, transport the sugar into all your cells. That's its job. Um, if you eat dietary fat, can't do its job. And the, the sugar gets uh, stuck into your blood and you have sustained elevated insulin levels. Rather than a small spike, it goes up and come down and you feel good. Like I said, people get so paranoid about this blood sugar lows and spikes if you if you get that low you simply haven't eaten enough and you need to eat more um, yeah but so being diabetic is sustained elevated insulin levels it's um, got nothing to do with uh, a spike if you have a spike that's healthy you might have a spike for 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and it goes back down to an extremely healthy level where if you eat dietary fat and uh, cause insulin resistance, which leads to diabetes, uh, you basically, your, your insulin and your blood sugar levels rise and they stay elevated. It's called sustained elevated insulin levels. And um, basically that, that's the issue. Uh, that's causing, you know, all the damage to the body, the weight gain and uh, yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see. Third one. Um, insulin causes weight gain. Just like, uh, no, sugar causes weight gain. So just like with the insulin, um, I'm talking from experience here, I've lost 15 kilos of weight in about the last year from uh, eating huge amounts of sugar and restricting my fat to as low as possible to under 10 grams a day, ideally. And... Um, yeah, so so basically, when, when, 
when you're peaking your insulin levels and sustaining the elevation of them for a long time by eating dietary fat and then eating sugar, you're basically allowing your body to say, oh, we've got enough calories. We're gonna store every gram of fat that you've eaten that day as, um, as body fat. And you know, if, you, if you're gonna, uh, yeah, let's say, look, we'll put the next myth here. So I made that statement. Now the next statement is why sugar can't be turned into fat. And that is because um, basically it, it's not efficient. So in your body, it will, it will um, you'll basically lose 80% of the energy from the total calorie. So the total calorie, say sugar, you got four grams in one gram of sugar sugar uh no wait it doesn't make sense does it um no in four grams of sugar you'll have and yeah i've lost, I've lost my math on that but basically so basically what the the body trying to say if you're eating nothing but pure sugar there's nothing else in your diet and you're over, you know, you're over your maintenance calories, then um, your body will attempt to store, or if you're anorexic, like anorexic lean, super lean, your body's gonna do all it can to store some fat. But it's gonna lose 80% of its energy compared to if it's, if you eat olive oil, any type of fat, avocado, nuts, meat, cheese, dairy, whatever, it's a hundred percent fat and you're gonna get a hundred percent absorption from consuming sugar you're gonna you're gonna lose 80 percent so you eat 100 grams of sugar um, past your uh, like maximum caloric allowed intake whatever you're gonna um, maximum you're gonna convert into <laughs> into body fat is uh, 20 grams of that hundred where if you were to eat 100 grams of oil past your intake that would be uh, 100 grams of body fat stored directly so not many people are going to really hold on to that and grasp that but it's um you know one of the main points um let's see we got um See. Chiang Mai University Lake. Um, all right, so let's see off the top of my head, and there's just so many. I like to think of the most. Um, most cri no, not critical ones people come up with but you know ones that they try and use the science or whatever when they're, <laughs> when they're pretty much wrong um, oh yeah let's say sugar sugar feeds cancer so basically <laughs> it's just like the oxygen as well you know your body uses oxygen cancer uses sugar uh, so does your immune system, which kills most of the cancer cells in your body. So, yeah, so sugar, you know, do you, do you want to suppress your immune system so you can't fight any cancer whatsoever? Or do you want to um, <laughs> starve, <laughs> starve your body and the cancer, but then the cancer can still tap into your your, your blood sugars. Um, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, another one to get into is uh, 
so sugar makes you feel tired <laughs> and um yeah this one i find hilarious you know there's uh nothing like a, a mum trying to stop her kids from eating drinking some red cordial because they're they're bouncing off the walls and having too much fun and enjoying themselves <laughs> just like the government wants you to stop eating sugar and uh not have the energy to you know <laughs> stop falling for um you know the the type of conformity that uh basically allows them to uh, i don't know manipulate deceive uh convince people to you know basically spend more taxes um but let's see uh yeah so basically like it, it's to, all to do with insulin so of course if you're eating a huge amount of dietary fat and you, you're consuming a lot of sugar you you're going to get a poor insulin response and that's going to make you feel tired probably going to become dehydrated from the increased insulin because you don't know how to drink enough water and um yeah, that, that's that's the main issue. So if you're consuming it correctly, you know, drinking water, like lots of water. If you you know, if you're active, but in general, you still need a lot of water, more than most people drink. Um, yeah, it re really doesn't make you sleep. It does the opposite if you if you're not consuming dietary fats, and you got you know you're doing it. It's, you're on point with stuff going to bed early it helps improve your hormones and and your insulin levels but um yeah yeah so yeah it's, it's going to improve your athletic performance you're going to have like higher blood volume it's going to help you um you know be, feel have more energy to train especially might, you might feel tired if you're just sitting there doing nothing, but that's probably because you got too much fat floating around your system from eating too much or not. Um, but you're just not being active in general, you know. The more blood flow you get, the more circulation, which uh, will help clear out the fat in your bloodstream, which is just gonna um, continue to impair. <laughs> Let's see what other myths. There's got to, I need to write every single bit now. Alrighty. Um, hmm. 